Okay, so let's go for the left four of the class fundamentals of signals and systems. Uh, for left four, you have three tasks, uh, including the first task. It is the section two here. Uh, you can look at it in the document on canvas. Uh, you have to plot this signal. And for this signal, please, please take a look for the range of the, it's like pull signal. You can make any signal that you want, but please do the same thing that you have, you have to get the same results with the figure over there, over there. So just write down a minor function and plot it. Uh, for me, you can take a look for my code. Mm, here, I use a square function. Square function, uh, you can take a look for the half square on my lab, but I will just write out it here. And uh, you see the range of the signal is from zero to one. But for square, I think it's from minus one to one. So that's why I constrain when the value was of x uh, are smaller than zero. It, uh, I will set it equal to zero. Uh, and let's see, here I we have the the period, the time period. And here's the t equal to 0.1 for one circle, uh, for one period. So I want to plot at least two cycles, right? Just need to plot at least two cycles. And uh, it starts from, oh, here I think it's from 0 0.0025. Because you see in the middle, the first pulse, it is zero so that's why i shifted some kind of the face of the this signal but you can try your best to get the same results and the figure here you don't need to follow me but if you want it will be okay so let's run it so i got this signal Ooh. okay and when you take a look for a zero here it is the same and for the duty ratio you see uh, the ratio between when the value is one and when the value is two, zero is equal which means here for each of the the period is t t uh, equals to 0 0.1 but for each point which means the uh, values of uh, x equal to uh, equal to one it will be t over two t divided by two Okay, that's why I add uh, fifty percent here. So it is for task one. So for task two, you have to. Uh, I will not mention about the the question one here because you have to calculate the parameters manually. Uh, but for the uh, question two, you have to create a MATLAB script or function to calculate the parameters of Fourier series. Uh, here I decided to to. Uh, to create a function. You can also use my left script, but function will be better. Uh, for the function, uh, which means the uh, which means they are finding the co coefficients. So I create a new uh, function here. Uh, for function, you call like this, you can follow this structure and set the same name of the function at the name of the file. And uh, just follow equation, I guess it is equation uh, equation three. Just write down here, just write out equation three and calculate it. Okay, uh, for t here, you can also use t as a vector, but here I use t as a symbol, it's still okay. Uh, nothing changed uh, and you have to calculate the integral from zero to t uh, first i define a function the function is inside here okay our uh, function in, inside here and you have to uh, create a x our uh, x function is which is this one and uh, for the exponential of something something i create it here oh yeah and next to calculate the uh, the whole thing, the whole parameter, which is uh, integral. You can call integral in MATLAB. And here you see I call by n, but n here it means uh, k in in this equation. You can change by k, but uh, I just 
to it to make it maybe easier to see for myself. So when I run task, uh, last uh, comment, when I run task you, so for task you, you have to uh, find the parameters from minus n to n. So uh, in the question, they ask for the number of three. So I add number three here, I create a vector to set the values of the, of the whole parameters, which means from a minus three, a minus two, a minus one, zero, one, two, three. And next, uh, for each uh, index, I find the coefficient for each, uh, for itself. So yes, I just save it and I plot, I use stem function to plot the index with the absolute value of the parameters. Uh, why I use absolute value because of because when you calculate the parameters, uh, sometimes uh, they will give you the complex numbers. So that's why I use absolute, which, which means the module of the complex number. So let's run it and you get these results. You see it's run from minus three to three, which is the index of the three of the parameters. So next for task three, for task three, you have to uh, generate a kind of a approximation function uh, when you use Fourier series, uh, Fourier series to approximate uh, the uh, the function. Here we have the function x. I will call x again. Uh, when you have the function x, and you you have the kind of uh, you have Fourier, so I call then x here. So you have Fourier. And what you need is, because now assume that you have the parameters. Okay, let's see for the, you have to follow the equation seven. You have the parameters, AK. And when you have the, the easiest equation, you just got it here and you use a function uh, to find the AK here. Uh, AK here is I still call from phi coefficient, this one. Um, for Fourier, I think it can reduce the the order, the order degree of the function. So that's why they are using Fourier, and you can convert any sys any functions to sine and cosine functions. I think it could be helpful for you when you use for digital processing, a signal processing. Okay. So here I still use a phi coefficient here and just create a approximate x and we have to predict x from a k. Okay, so let's run, let's run. Uh, so here, first I try, you have to try from n equals three, seven, 15, 25. So let's first start with n equals two, three. So here. Uh, this is a signal that I approximate and the blue blue nine is an original signal. Uh, with n equals to three, you have almost the same, but it's not really the same. So let's increase increase uh, n here, for example, for seven. So you will see, oh, it looks, mm, gradually it looks better, right? I think so. I think I should add the close first. Close or so let's try for let's try for 100. Let's see. Okay, they're almost the same. So it is what I want you to learn for full year series. Okay, that's all. Yeah, so the first one. Oh, okay. So when I read it, we're going to have a